If you have a Ruby app and need to send emails, this tutorial is for you. I will show you how to add an email delivery functionality to your app using the best Ruby gems for sending emails. Action Mailer, the Mail gem combined with Gmail SMTP and MailTrap SMTP. If you want to jump to a specific part, use the timestamps below. Or stay with me for a quick overview on the delivery methods that we cover in the video, types of emails you may want to send, and just to get a better understanding in general. Finally, welcome to MailTrap, where we share our top deliverability tips. Here, you will learn more about sending emails with Ruby. So, the emails could be related to the user's authentication or any kind of transactional emails. Basically, any message triggered by specific events that users generate during their journey. And here's how to send such emails with Action Mailer, the most convenient choice for sending emails from a Rails app, as this gem is already built into the Rails framework. Let's say you have a waiting list functionality in your app. After entering an address, a user should receive a confirmation email. Let's look at the code. So first, you'll need to create a mailer with the following command. And just like that, you can see here a new mailer was created. Let's indicate the email method that takes the email as a parameter and also add the email subject. Next, you want to edit the content of the actual email. In this case, I already prepared it, so we'll just paste it here. At this point, you can add the email to the mailer controller. The email is taken from the parameters. This part is done, but you still need to add the action mailer configuration options. Let's go to the development.rb file and add the relevant SMTP configuration that can be found in MailTrap's How to Send Emails with Ruby guide. Next, you'll have to add the appropriate credentials. For this example, let's use MailTrap. Keep in mind that in the development and test environments, it is a bad practice to send actual emails and expose your password. So I'm just going to do this for the sake of demonstration. Let's also indicate this domain name and action mailer. Otherwise, the email will not be validated and delivered. After all these steps, your app is finally ready to send emails. Let's do the initial steps again. Refresh your page, enter the email address, and hit the Join Waiting List button. Now you can see that there is a new email in your inbox. Additionally, you can do a minor refactoring of your Action Mailer configurations. As you can see on MailTrap's Gem GitHub page, the Gem adds Action Mailer delivery method and the following settings need to be done. Open the Gem file and add the MailTrap Gem. Install dependencies. Copy the configurations from the Action Mailer section in the MailTrap Gem GitHub page and paste them into your development.rb file. Replace the IP key with the one we used in the SMTP method that is no longer needed. And that is it. You now have the app that can send emails using Action Mailer. This was just the beginning of our tutorial, so keep watching. I just want to take a quick moment and mention that if you actually enjoy this content and find it useful, make sure to like and subscribe so that YouTube actually knows that it's useful as well. And now, let us proceed with the next sending option. This one is really convenient, and I know that some of you might be looking for a reliable solution for sending emails with Ruby, like set up and forget it's doing its job kind of a thing. And that is why we need to focus on MailTrap email API here. Now, let's say you need to use the MailGem in your application instead of Action Mailer. So as you can see in the MailTrap sending emails with Ruby tutorial, the first thing you need to do is install the MailGem along with all the relevant dependencies in your gem file. Next, in your app.rb file, add required to include the MailGem. Now you can start implementing email sending. From the tutorial, you can copy the email itself and specify the delivery method. Which in this case is SMTP. You can find all the settings in the library documentation, but in this case, you'll just need some of them. The settings can also be found in the API and SMTP tab from the sending domain page in your MailTrap account. So just go ahead and copy them over along with your credentials. And don't forget to update both the from and to email addresses. Now, update the subject field and the content of email in the body. And that is it. You are ready to send the email. Go ahead and run the script with full confidence. And just to ensure that everything works properly, check your inbox for the new messages. 
Finally, let's cover the last part of this tutorial, which is once again the mail gem, but now combined with Gmail SMTP. Alternatively, you can use Gmail SMTP with the mail gem. So go ahead and open your gem file, install the mail gem and the relevant dependencies. In your app.rb file, add required to include the mail gem. Now we can implement this. Create a new email message with this mail message class. Make sure to fill out the rest of email parameters and indicate the delivery method. Again, all of this with the SMTP configurations can be found in MailTrap sending emails with Ruby tutorial. Next, you'll need to indicate all the missing elements, meaning your username and your password. The username will be your email address. As for the password, the most secure authentication method would be to use a newly generated 16-digit passcode that gives less secure app or device permission to access your Google account. This can be done in the app password section of your Google account. Once you generate the new password, go ahead and add it. Now, make sure to update the from field, which is the same email address as the username. And just for the sake of the demonstration, I'll use it in the to field. But of course, it can be any email address you want the message to reach. Next, update both the subject and the body of the email. Now you can run the script and send the email. And voila! We can see a new email in your inbox. And that is all for today. I hope you found this video useful. And for your convenience sake, you can just copy all the pieces of the code right from the article on our website. I will make sure to include all of the links in the description below. Once again, we are more than excited to chat in the comments below. It feels like it is a good community that we're gathering here that is always eager to share and exchange knowledge. Thank you again for watching this tutorial brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your emails in one place. If you found this video useful, do like and subscribe to not miss out on our upcoming email delivery content. Check out our other videos and see you soon in the next one.